What's going on guys, No Guides here, welcome back to another video now. In today's video we're going to go over the top 3 easy passes that you can use to implement into your gameplay to help you get past your opponent to easily get into the final third. These are 3 things that I've been using this weekend league which helped me get my result which I'll probably release soon what I got. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into the video. If you do like this video don't forget to subscribe um, for more videos coming soon and let's get straight into it. Now the first one I want to go over is the player lock. Now the player lock was actually a feature that was used a lot. Um, I recommend watching my video. We're gonna I'm gonna first go over the footage first. This is the player lock feature. And as you can see, I, compl I completely outsmart, outmaneuver my opponent, and I basically trick him and bait him. And it's one of the easiest ways to get past your opponent. But it's very much underused. It would probably be the meta. I'll make this assumption now. I would say by November, December time, the meta to get down the wing. Will be using this method. If you haven't watched my creative runs video, of course, I, I would suggest you to go watch my creative runs video. But how this is done is very, very simple. All you do is you, you basically, in this situation here, I wanted to activate the player lock feature. So I did simply press the left analog stick and the right analog stick in. So you can see the controls at the bottom of the screen. I press the left analog stick and the right analog stick controls in. And then once I did that, what happens is your player goes into this control mode. And as you can see, you get this little mark above my head. And that means the player lock feature is on. And that means what it is, is the ball carrier is the player with the player lock features activated on. So that means, for example, I can then pass the ball away and then run around with this guy. And I can press the pass button and ask for the ball back to my feet. But what if I wanted Dembele to make that run? Well, I press the, the left analog stick and, and, and the right analog stick in as normal. But the difference is I flick the right analog stick to this player. I select Dembele and then I make a run. So we're going to go and slow this down now. So we're going to go back. So again, I get the ball over here like you can see. Then watch the bottom, bottom of the screen. See the two controllers. I push the left analog stick and the right analog stick in together. You see that? That activates the player lock feature. Once activated, I then flick the right analog stick to Dembele. And here, look, once I'm over here, it's a complete 1v1 situation. All I have to do is outsmart my opponent. I can try to run down the line. I'll probably get through anyway. But what I've been doing very recently is I've obtained to go one way and then changing it very last minute. As you can see, I'm going outwards. Then I go inwards to make quickly change direction. And then I go back out again. As you can see, it's almost impossible to man mark this because your opponent has to only defend where he thinks you're going as opposed to where you're actually gonna go. And as you can see, it's very easy to get down the wing. I can see we've got another example in Division 1. Um, I get the ball with Ben Yedda and I see the player making a run in behind. And again, what people do is a lot of good players in how to defend against it. They just simply just run back with their left back or the right back and they get it behind. But instead of activating a player lock, I go outwards and then I request a through ball. Now this is more to do to practice. I request a driven through ball. Driven through balls naturally they have more power and they become more centralized. So only if I did a driven through ball, the ball will go over here again. You'll have to practice. But once you do it, it's so effective because he thinks the through ball is going like this but actually cuts through and pierces through his defense and I simply just run around and I time the run. As you can see, it's a very effective way of getting into the final third. And I've got one final example that I used as well this weekend league. When I get the ball with Mbappe, get the ball with Benyeda and I see Dembele making a run going forward. But you know, going down the wing is very predictable. So I pretend to go down the wing and then I just cut in between and request the through ball. And as you can see, I then get the ball with Dembele and just unfortunately get tackled at the very last minute. But you can see that's like, and this is a division one play as well. And as you can see very simply, just by doing it, I can pierce through my opponent's defense. He thinks I'm going on the outside, but end up cutting through the middle, slicing my opponent, and then I'm almost through on goal. Now the second one I want to go over is a lofted pass. Now there's two ways you can do a lofted pass. You can do a lofted pass like so, which is a double tap triangle as you can see. Tap triangle twice. And the ball basically bounces. Basically makes it harder for your opponent to intercept the ball. So if your opponent was, let's say in theory, your opponent was standing like over here. What it will essentially do is you'll block him out. So let's say he was trying to, it was in between, let's say player, player A. Let's say this is player A and this is player B. If he was over here, you could argue the lofted pass will kind of go around him. And you can do a, you can do a lofted through ball in this case, which is double tap triangle. Or if you're on Xbox, double, double tap Y. And as you can see, the ball gets played through to me. But I also use it inside the box of here. I trip my opponent, go down the wing, and I'm trying to pass the ball to one of the strikers. Now, the issue is, if I make a regular pass over here um, to either one of these two players, your opponent, my opponent can very much intercept it, AI can intercept it. When you make it a lofted pass, because it basically goes over or basically about, about knee height, 
it's impossible for your opponent to get the ball. And as you can see over here, unless your opponent positions himself very, very well, it's really, really hard. And that's what created that chance over there again. This time I didn't press double Y or double triangle. It was simple double X or double A pass straight to my player. Here's a good example of how a lofted pass can be used, especially a lofted pass or a lofted through. But as you can see over here, there's a player in the way. Now, yes, I could make that pass. It could, it could do a simple through ball, but there is a chance that his opponent could defend against it very well. So what I do here is I double tap the triangle button and I create the lofted pass and that goes just about through. As you can see, you can see where my opponent almost got the ball. You see that over there? But because it was a lofted pass, AI can't automatically lunge to get the ball. And as you can see, because the ball is in the air, the opponent can't just kick the thin air, if that makes sense. So when the ball is on the ground, it's easier for your opponent to intercept, whereas when it's a lofted pass, it's much harder. And as you can see, that's what led me to get the ball to my player, do a simple fake shot around the goalkeeper and score the goal. Here you can see a more direct example of how the lofted pass works. As you can see, I get the ball with base Ronaldo here, the icon on the loan card. I get the ball to Javi Martinez or Joseph Martinez, should I say, and I see that Ronaldo is making that run in behind. Now, I can do a regular pass, but my opponent is positioned very well and very acutely to block out the angle very close to me. He's got a good range of motion with his feet. You can insert the ball when it leaves my foot and also when it's in the air or it's on the ground. So again, what's the most important thing is here is I do a lofted pass. Now, had this been a regular pass on the ground, he would have very much intercepted it. But very simply, because it was a double X pass or a lofted pass, as you can see, he couldn't get the ball. And that's what led me to go around the goalkeeper again and score the goal. But again, very, very simple. Look on the control at the bottom of the screen, get the ball like so, aim it to the top left. And this time I do a lofted through ball because I want the ball, I want him to run into the ball, as you can see. And as you can see, I do it. And as you can see, even my opponent he lifts his leg up. As you can see, the ball still goes past him. And that's one of the most effective ways of using, using the lofted pass. Where the lofted pass is predominantly used is down the wing, for example, getting the ball over here. In this situation, and getting the ball over here, and you know, for example, you can't do a driven cross. The lofted pass here is very, very effective, especially there's so many players and there's only a minute gap to get through. You can basically just try your luck and try a double X pass over here or double A if you're on Xbox. And as you can see, again, the exact same thing. The player I saw was coming near post, but I was worried because I thought, okay, I can try to make the pass, by this point, my opponent could intercept the ball very easily. As you can see, the way he's he's jocking, he can literally just take the ball away. So again, I don't want a ball to go on the ground. I want it to be over the feet, over his, should I say, his foot, knee height. And as you can see, I do it again. The lofted pass, as you can see, even if he tried to get the ball, he can't because the ball's in the air. So there's no kind of AI blocking animation. And it very easily allowed me to get a goal. But again... I would say use it made if you want to go in behind like the Ronaldo example as before. But normally when you're in this region and you want to kind of pass the ball into the box, I would say always do a lofted pass, which is a double X. Or if you're on Xbox, it is double A. It's probably the most effective thing. And basically the longer you hold the initial A, so if you hold A down for a long time, then you tap A straight after, you'll apply more power to it. So a double double tap, it's like a quick lofted pass, not too, that, not, not too far in range. If you hold down the A button, then you press it again very quickly, then you have more power added to the lofted pass. I just want to say, if you do want to get better at FIFA, I do have a paid advanced in-depth FIFA school series. This is for all levels of those that want to improve in FIFA. This is different from YouTube videos. It's a progressive learning system where all the videos go completely in depth. And you won't find these videos on my YouTube channel. These go beyond the scope of typical YouTube videos. Um, they're very long, elaborate videos explaining what you need to do and what you need to become a better game, explaining everything. So come join hundreds of others in the mature audience community for those looking to get better at FIFA. Link is in the description for more information. Patreon.com forward slash no guys. Of course, I have all of last year's videos as well which all apply to this year and I'll have new videos coming soon for FIFA 21 and it's a complete money back guarantee so after one month you decide that you didn't get better at FIFA I will refund your money back and that way you won't lose anything so come join the FIFA school series but anyway back to the video and going back to the final example and that is a through ball down the wing now the through ball down the wing is the most effective way of getting past any opponent period you see a lot of the top tier pro players do this and elite players do it it's very very simple i've gone over this video many times and i've honest, if you want to make the difference to bridge the gap between goal to elite what you need to do is you need to get the ball you need to do, again what's important here is doing a one two backwards you need this to be a one two 
That way, as soon as you make the pass, this guy will make a run going forward or the AI will make a pass. If it's just a regular pass, this guy will stand still and the ball will go backwards. You want basically him to, him to pass the ball backwards and to make a run going forward. So you do an L1 plus A pass. I mean, L1 or X or L, B and A. And as you can see, you do the 1, 2. And all you do then is you just wait for this player to either be free, as you can see, like so, or for him to be just in line with the final line. And as you can see, it's so hard for your opponent to defend. The only way he can actually block this is that if he, for example, manually goes and he reads, okay, you know what, that guy's going to go and do that through ball down the wing and he runs back manually like so. But that's when the player lock comes in. So as I showed you in the first example, you can combine this with the player lock method. And once you do it, again, it's very, very easy. You ideally want a strong foot and you want to basically face outwards. So this is important. This is a very, very important part. When you do this, it's probably not going to work. It's because you need to face this way face outward so the ball curves around if you're facing forward it will go straight to the opponent and it will mess up if you face this way it will go like this and you think it would work but it doesn't really work so you want the ball to go on the outside because your opponent always defends the inside lane so you want to go around the outside here we have another example but this time it is in the draft game mode again we get the ball with hazard there's no way to go from this point we got my opponent over here now what's key is focus on this guy the closer you are or closer he is to you, the easier it is for you to do the 1-2 backwards. Because if you do the 1-2 backwards straight away, yeah, he has to then also run back as well. So it could also be used to relieve pressure. As I said, you can see this more in my Patreon videos where I have this on my Patreon series. Um, but as you can see over here, get the ball. Again, what's the first thing I'm thinking of? Okay, I can't go forward. What do I think of? Okay, you know what? I need to make a pass back. What do I do? A quick 1-2 pass backwards. As I was making a run, I make a pass to my left back and watch all I do is I create the 45 degree angle face on the outside. What do I do again? Driven through ball. The most important thing is to do a driven through ball. That way the ball goes around. You can do a regular through ball if you want, uh, but a driven through ball is what you need. As you can see, my attack all starts from a very, very simple fact that I just did a through ball down the wing. And that's what led me in the end to get the penalty and probably lock the game out. One thing that you would find though against the top tier, the high echelon players, is they know how to defend this very, very well. Um, you won't really notice this until you reach probably like Division 2 or Division 1. That's where you really can see the players defend against it very, very well. Um, especially if you're going for elite and foot champions. As you can see over here, my opponent this time, he's using team press, he's losing, and he defends it very, very well. Now, as you can see, what he does is he actually moves this player to man mark it so basically i couldn't essentially do the driven through ball down the wing so he's basically blocking the angle out so again i wait i be patient but this time i do the opposite i do the lobbed through ball lob through ball is the exact same thing it's l1 plus triangle or for example or lb plus y if you're on xbox and this is the same through ball variation except for it goes over over the heads if that makes sense so it's kind of a lobbed variation and that's exact exact same thing applies and as you can see over here, it gets through and it gets through straight towards me. What you can do, you can do the driven lob, the driven lob parcel, which is L1 plus R1 plus triangle. Or if you're on Xbox, it's LB plus RB and then plus Y. And this is the one that's kind of like a threaded lob pass. So it goes a bit more further in front. As you can see, I do this over here. So again, he marks it, puts that player there manually, um, drags that player across. So that way I can't do the through ball. So I just wait. I don't panic and make sure my player is making a run. And then once there's a chance for me to do it, then I then I then do the L1, R1, and triangle. And as you can see, I'm going to slow this down so you can see it. Get the ball like so. Wait for him to make a run. As soon as he blocks the angle out and realize, okay, I can't do a normal through ball on the ground. So this time I do the exact same thing, except I just hold L1 as opposed to just holding R1 and triangle. And as you can see, the exact same thing applies, except for this time, the ball is in a year. And this way is also very effective, especially this year. And that's how you very easily can get outside, especially your opponent's team. For example, like he was team pressing me over there. That's how he was pressing me so high the pitch. And that is one way that you can also get through. This is just quick, three quick, easy ways to do. As I said, you can combine them all together. So you can do the through balls down the wing alongside with lofted passes to get inside the box. And you can use the player lock assistance with through balls to easily get past your opponents and outsmart them. You master this, I'll be honest. You can very easily change yourself become a better player just by mastering everything and for example doing a loft up it's like one of the most easiest ways to score goals anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this new type of analysis types of videos let me know if you prefer the other tutorials or you like these kind of like these live commentaries uh, where i go through them and break down each clip so do let me know thank you very much for watching guys take it easy peace out